My name is Ojo Isaac, the manager of Presta Prayer Concept. Like our videos, also share the videos so that more videos will come your way when it is there loaded. Do not forget to also subscribe button, to click on the subscribe button. We are accountants and into accounting software. We've started this video and we continue to post more and more of this video. So let's continue. The topic we want to treat now is uh, how to raise or create six order with uh, VAT, with VAT applications or what VAT or any other applications. But this very particular one, circle in green, is what we want to work on now. It's having an element of 5% VAT. So how do we treat it when you are raising a sales order? That is the question. So we have many of them. Yeah, I mean, we have many uh, questions on sales order here. So when you subscribe for the full course, we are going to give you the questions for you to work on. And that will enhance, more practice of it will enhance your ability on how to use uh, stage 50 very well. So this time around, let us uh, quickly work on the, this very video so that you have the full benefit of it. All right. So this is uh, six other information. This information is saying that on the 7th of January 2023, the sales order, the sales manager raises sales order number 003 to Diamond System Limited with VAT of 5%. This is saying that this customer, Mr. I mean, this customer, Diamond System, was giving this is order with the application of VAT of 5%. So therefore, when you are raising the sales order with your C50, you need to also raise it with uh, the VAT application, VAT. So do not forget this. So let's go to C50 so that we can now create the sales order with C50. So this is C50. You go to task again. Then from there, you look at uh, the first uh, uh, line there, which is quote, sales order and proposal. But we are concentrating on sales order. You click on sales orders. When you click sales orders, you can maximize this in order to see the full detail of this uh, particular window. So from the customer ID, you click on the mirror drop down and select diamond system which is your customer that you have already set up before today so then the date of this particular transaction we did there uh, according to this uh, uh code study is seventh so now let's let us look at this now date we'll use here so let's use 16 16 date then also ship by will now be around 18 18th of uh, May. So the SO number, let's look at the SO number on this very particular video. Sorry, on this particular case study, the SO number is 003 because, uh, the, because the SO number 33 have been used. That is why uh, the system or QuickBook um, C50 is giving me 005. So I'm still in order. I can make do with that because. That is the only way we can continue now. So let's go to the quantity. What is the quantity given there? Let's look at the case study. This our desktop. We have 15. 15 is, go, is requested by Diamond System Limited. So let's go to um, say 15. Enter one, one file. That is 15. One file. Press your tab key. So down ESA desktop. So let's look for ESA desktop. 
that have been selected. So the next one is a uh, HP Desktop 25. HP Desktop 25. 20025. 25. Two, five. Down, we select the item that is HP Desktop. HP, you select HP Desktop. So that you down, if, if you select the wrong uh, ID, it will not pick it. So go back, go back again, select the right one, which is this HP Desktop that has been selected. Then the next one is what? the laptop so we go to the quantity and uh, also the item the you can also do the uh, item first and say the the laptop so if you select the laptop the quantity is uh, 20 you can also enter to zero which is 20. now uh the laptop have the enter that is down when zero zero okay so now the next one is a uh, Everything 40 digits, everything DVD 40. Digits. So, everything 40 units 40. So, let us enter the 40 and uh, uh, everything, everything. So, DVD, everything DVD. So, that has been said that is 6,000. I give you 36,000. The next one is Sony 60, 60 uh, quantity. So, six zero zero sony sony so enter sony again and that gives you eighteen thousand so let's look at the total if it's in the other okay so now that it, they all have been filled we have two the total here is two three two two nine the total here is uh three two two nine that is three million two two nine thousand three million two two nine thousand that is the subtotal so that is not the final figure we need to apply vat of a five percent then let's uh, select vat for this so you come to the uh, column here this very amount column and uh, look for this is six tasks so in this uh, drop down there is a vat 5% that, that has, has already been set up. We have already set it up before you will use it, you will use it to, um, to, to, to uh, post here. So it therefore means before you can answer this very question very well, you need to know how to set up VAT. So we are going to also do a video on how to set up VAT in 650, so which we are going to also watch out for. So when you see it, you go through it and you begin to apply it in your transaction posting. So we click on it. So when I click on it, you see the VAT figure down is uh, 616, which also tally with what is on the Excel uh, data here. So that is 616. So therefore, you can preview it here. From here, you can say, okay, let's preview it to see how it's going to be reflected. So if you preview it, it's saying that uh, this transaction will cause the customer to go over because a limit has been set up. You know, you can also set up limits, various limits for each customer in order to ask as a control. Okay, I say yes, because I know that it will go over. Now, I click on print preview. So when I click on print preview, the print, print preview will give me this. So this is the Print preview and if I print it, this is how it's going to come out on A4 paper. So this is Diamond, this is uh, our company, AA Oil and Sons, and uh, requesting uh, uh, this guy that is a uh, Diamond System Limited, that is the number nine, Awolo uh, Way, Ikeja, Lagos. So now uh, it's asking or uh, it's asking. Uh, AA to supply to this very particular address to their own address that is shipped to so the document is addressed to this very particular address why also it will ship to it, there are cases whereby the addresses are different so you have to also specify where the uh, the the address where the goods will be shipped to 
In many cases, they are not the same. So, but the goods can be addressed. Uh, sorry, the, de the document can be addressed to the head office. Yeah. Okay. So, these are the items that are being requested for. Now, they are, they, they are listed here. So, this is the subtotal. The subtotal is here, 2.229. Then, the, the six stars is also uh, there. Then, freight, not yet there. And payment, not yet applied. So, this is how it's going to come out when you print it. So, if you want to print it, you click on print button here. It will go directly to the to the printer and it will save a hard copy to in the system it will print a hard copy and also save on the uh, 650 database so the next thing is for you to click on uh, save because we are saving it we we are not uh, printing it now uh, so i click on print uh, save so when i click on save they ask me this question again i will say yes click on yes so when you do this you be able to uh, save it properly so please try to like and share and subscribe to our videos so that more videos will be produced and you will receive them by the time we load it online thank you